For the second time, Whitecaps fans walked out of the game on Saturday, and this time it happened despite the Vancouver Whitecaps speaking with the fan group in a closed meeting earlier that same day. So we are still calling for the walkout mostly because while the meeting was very positive, uh, we can't necessarily withdraw our support from the women based on promises. Dozens of people walked out at the 35th minute of game time, boycotting a portion of the game as a show of support for former members of the women's team who have brought forward abuse allegations dating back more than a decade. Centering on a coach who oversaw the Whitecaps women and U-20 women's national soccer squad. It's a very awkward thing to choose to withdraw support from the team on the field because that's why we're here. It's our raison d'etre to uh, be supporters of, of the team and the players. The Southsiders met with the Whitecaps' executive team, including President Bob Leonard Doozy and co-owner Jeff Mallett, for a nearly two-hour meeting before the game to discuss next steps. They have started to make a commitment to really address this. Uh, they say they've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes, which I'm sure they have been. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to change the way that they've been, um, I guess, commenting publicly on this uh, situation. But until management stops talking the talk and starts walking the walk, the Vancouver Southsiders say they'll continue walking that walk for them. You know, in, until we see some something change in the public eye, I don't know that we can really say that uh, anything's different. In Vancouver, Ashley Burr, City News.